the Surveyor General effectively has overall responsibility for the quality, integrity, and the maintenance of the legal survey structure of the province of British Columbia. It's a historic role, so if you actually went back and you visit the Parliament buildings in Victoria and you look at the original map of the Parliament buildings, there were two non-elected officials who had offices in the Parliament buildings, and they were the Attorney General of the Problems of British Columbia and the Surveyor General. Effectively, in those days, the Attorney General was responsible for law and order. The Surveyor General was responsible for settlement of the lands. And British Columbia is huge, 944,000 square kilometers in British Columbia. Not that this is my normal comparative, but if one were to look at North Korea being in the news today, British Columbia is about eight times the size of North Korea. So massive. We'd be the 13th largest country in the world if British Columbia was a country on its own. So there was a lot of effort that went into settling the province, and that was the focus of the Surveyor General originally bit of a transition. Surveyor General focus in the 1920s through maybe the 1950s was about mapping, learning what the province was about, topographic mapping, um, you know, tons of rivers, lakes in the province, uh, understanding those. Aerial photography was a big deal within the Surveyor General branch. Today, there's a real link to the land title system. Um, we have two million private parcels, 400,000 crown land parcels in the province. But people live on 7% of the land in British Columbia. We still sit with 92, 93% of the land as being unoccupied crown land. So our 3.65 million people live on 7% of, of the land. So there's a real link to that value that's created by private property title.